हेलो चिल्ड्रन साई राम सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद चैप्टर वन ज्योमेट्रिकल फिगर्स नाउ लास्ट टाइम व्हाट वी हैव डन डिड यू रिमेंबर चिल्ड्रन यस व्हाट वी हैव लर्न लास्ट टाइम एंगल्स इन एंगल्स व्हाट वर द थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एंगल्स वी हैव लर्न राइट एंगल एक्यूट एंगल and obtuse angle very good now our today's content is circle and different parts of a circle you have learned shapes isn't it so today we are going to learn about circle and its different parts now what do you see in the first picture children yes it is the picture of a bubble you like not to play with bubble sometime yes okay what is the second picture about it is the picture of a moon so, did you see anything common in them children yes what very good both the shapes are circular both the shapes are circular in shape isn't it this is the common thing you see between a bubble and a moon now in first picture what you see what it is it is the picture of a bangle yes what is the shape of for again it is a round shape what do you see in the second picture you like to go na where you see this yes you see this in a fair what is the name of the picture yes it is called a giant whale so what similarity you see in both the pictures yes both the pictures are or shapes are again round in shape they are circular in shape so today we are going to learn about circle okay now what is a circle what is a circle yes a circle is a round two dimensional shape now there are different parts in a circle like radius diameter center chord these are the different parts of a circle and we are going to learn about each part of a circle now the first part yes the first part we are going to learn about center now can the shape is round right can you see that red point in the middle of the uh, circle yes that red point is called center of the circle what it is called center of the circle what is the name given to the center yes it is o so o is called the center of the circle now second part is chord now what is a chord a line segment joining any two points on the edge of the circle is called a chord now chord is shown with an arrow you can see the red line drawn isn't it so what is chord chord is a line segment joining any two points on the circle remember the definition now next is diameter can you see that red line drawn yes shown with an arrow mark yes diameter is a line segment that starts at one side of a circle passes through the center of the circle and touches the other end of the circle so what is diameter diameter is also a line segment that joins two points on a 
circle. It is also like a chord. But the only difference is that the line segment passes through the center of the circle. You have to remember, a chord doesn't pass through the center, right? A diameter passes through the center of the circle. And diameter is the longest chord of the circle. Now next is radius. Radius is any line segment from center to the edge of the circle. Now how you can draw radius? You can draw a line segment from the center to any point on the circle. All the radii of the circle are equal in length. You can draw as many radius as you want from the center to any point on the circle. And all the radii will be of same length. Observe the figure and name the parts. Now in this figure you can see uh, many names are written on the circle. So you have to see the question and answer it. What is the radius you see in this circle? Name of the radius? Yes, it is PQ. Very good. What is the diameter in this circle? AB. Very good. Okay. Now, what is the center in this circle? Q. Right. What is the chord? Name the chord in this circle? XY. Yes, very good. Now, we have done this uh, chapter of this concept of circle very clearly. Okay. Now, after this, I am going to do one activity on circle. Hello children. Now, we are going to start our maths activity. For this activity, you need four drawing papers or plain papers. You need a pencil pair of scissors, scale and a bow. Okay. Are you ready children? Okay. Now how I am going to show same way you have to do the activity. Okay. First you have to place a bow on the piece of paper and you have to draw a line around the bow. So, what shape you have got children this? Yes, this is the shape of a circle. Like this shape you get. Now you have to cut this shape. You have to cut this circular shape. Okay. After cutting this circular shape, you are going to get like this four circles. Okay. Like this four circles you are going to get. Now we are going to do this activity on each circle. First we will take one circle. Now you take this circle. Okay. Now you can fold like this. Can you see the fold children? Can you see this tracing line here? Okay. You can fold from any side of the circle. If you want, you can fold from this side also. Any side you can fold, okay? Now, I will draw one line. Where I got this tracing line, I will go draw one line. Now, what you have got here in this picture? You have folded this, isn't it? This fold. Yes. So, what it is called? It is called a chord. What it is called? A chord. Okay. So, this is our chord. Right? Now, we will take next circle. Now, what we are going to do? We have to divide this shape into two halves. Just take this part. Fold it on the other side. 
and press it with your finger okay now open the shape can you see this line folded part middle part here yes now we are going to draw the line with the scale can you see this yes why it is divided into two halves this line is called the diameter of a circle what it is called diameter now i'm going to show you what it is called diameter what was this shape called this shape was called chord right chord is what is chord chord is a line segment joining any two points on the circle okay and what about diameter diameter is also like a chord here you can see the two points are joined but diameter is passing through the center of the circle diameter is also called as a longest chord okay now we will see next shape next part of the circle we are going to learn now take another paper how you fold it into half fold it you fold it into half now again fold into quarter now you have done like this okay first fold then second fold now open this what you see here can you see the lines here yes this is called center what it is called this is called center of the circle where the four lines meet can you see this tracing line children yes okay this is called the center now we will see the last one now again like this you will take center fold this okay into first half then again fold into quarter okay what you get here again in this picture also what you get center okay now we are going to draw you can see this lines from the center to any points on the circle these are called radius see from the center to any point on the circle that is called a radius the radius is half of the diameter remember this so this we got the four parts of a circle what we have done first we have done center chord diameter and radius remember children what are the four parts of a circle that we have learned today yes children did you like this activity yes what you have learned in this activity you have learned the four parts of a circle what were the four parts which you have learned chord diameter center radius i hope you will enjoy this activity again you have to practice this at home also understood now i have given a worksheet after this activity i have given a worksheet that you have to sit and do at home in your book so that you can prepare for your 
exams. Okay, children? Stay home, stay safe. And let us meet in the next session. We are going to learn more about this geometrical figures. Sai Ram. Thank you.